Okay, so I'm still wearing my checkered shirts because I'm still going to teach you about area. In our last episode, I taught you guys about area of a rectangle. And I know this says area of a triangle, but this is going to help us out. Let's draw ourselves a rectangle. A rectangle is um, a shape where all four angles are 90 degree angles and the opposite sides are congruent so that means this side is the same length as this side and this side is the same length as this side now this this doesn't say area of a rectangle this is area of a triangle so how can we make a triangle out of a rectangle well all we have to do is draw a diagonal line that goes like this and split it in half actually we just made two triangles look at that but if we just wanted to find the area of one triangle well we'll use the area of a rectangle area equals base times height and a triangle is really just half of a rectangle so we find the base we take the base multiply it by the height that's just area of a rectangle and we cut it in half because a triangle is just half of a rectangle so if there's your formula for area of a triangle put in your notebooks highlight it and let's do some examples okay so well actually before we do some examples uh, I have to show you this right here base and height are always okay this is an important word and it's also important that this camera focuses even though it's not focusing right now okay there we go so base and heights are always okay this is something that you have to remember per pen particular okay so base and heights are always perpendicular remember and, and highlight this remember perpendicular means that they're lines that make 90 degree angles so let me show you um, some examples of base and heights in a triangle so if we drew a triangle like this and draw this in your notebooks and um, we'll put we'll make this side perpendicular to this side so how do we make it perpendicular officially put the little square right there now we can say that this side is the base and this side is the height because these two sides are perpendicular to each other and it makes sense because what's the symbol for perpendicular lines as a little square and what does area mean how many squares fit inside so we can't get the area without knowing the sides that make a square the base and the height that are always perpendicular here's another example so everyone draw a line like this everyone draw a line like this and so which one which sides which two sides are our base and height it would be well let's call this the base which side would be the height would it be this this doesn't look like a 90 degree angle would it be this does not look like a 90 degree angle so we can draw a line that goes straight down and this would be our height because this side is perpendicular to this side because that's a 90 degree angle and look at that it's an upside down T, which is the symbol for perpendicular. Okay, here's a tricky one. If I drew a line like this and made this the base, and I drew a line like this, and drew a line like that, which would be the height to this base right here? This wouldn't be the height because this is in a 90 degree angle. This wouldn't be the height because that's not a 90 degree angle. Where would we draw that height? Well, and remember this B only re represents the length from here to here, but we just need a line that is perpendicular to this B somewhere. So if you ever encounter a problem like this, and then something like this, and this little box says it's perpendicular, if we shifted this line over here, that would still be perpendicular to B. Okay, so this line right here would be your height because this line is still perpendicular to here. 
to your B, even if you moved it. Okay, so we can draw that same height going over the top, that same length, that still be our height. Okay, so just as long as it's perpendicular. But remember, the B is only from here to here, not this entire thing. Okay, so if we if you saw a problem like this. They said, is this the base and this is the height? That is totally wrong because this is not, these two sides are not perpendicular. So let's draw a circle and just say no, kids. No to that. So put an X to that. So just say no, that these two are not the base and height because the base and heights are always perpendicular. All right, so let's use our new knowledge about the formula of the area of a triangle, base times height divided by two because it's half of a rectangle. And what we know about base and height, that they're always perpendicular to find the area of this triangle. There's a bunch of numbers there, but we know the area is base times height divided by two because it's half of a rectangle. There's three numbers, which two out of the three are we gonna use? Well, this is the key right here, this little square. This little square says that this side is perpendicular to this side. So we'll write 14 times 3 and cut it in half because it's half of a rectangle. And there's two ways you can do this. You can multiply 14 times 3, which would be 42. Okay, and then divided by 2, which will be 21 millimeters squared. A different way is this. You notice I had to grab my calculator because I was unsure of 14 times 3. Another way you could do is do this. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 7 times 3 is 21 millimeters squared. So you still get the same answer. I, I personally like cutting the numbers uh, down, so we'll divide first to make those numbers smaller and then multiply by 3. Don't forget that square because there's 21 squares that fit inside of this triangle. Alright, example number 2, area, again let's write that formula down so it's in our brains forever, is base times height cut in half because the triangle is half of a rectangle. Tell yourself that it's half of a rectangle. That's why we divide it by two. This time these guys try to mess with us. They put four different numbers. Which numbers do we use? This is the key. Perpendicular. Base and height are always perpendicular. They're always perpendicular. So let's take that 5.9. Multiply it by 6.8 and divided by 2 and these decimals yeah I'm gonna grab my calculator so 5.9 times 6.8 divided by 2 because it's half of a rectangle which is 20.06 okay and then the these two apostrophes or quotations really is means inches so 20.06 inches squared so just a little more than 20 squares fit inside 20 and then a super small square fit inside of this triangle if we were to cover up with squares all right this next one okay they gave us four numbers again area is equal to base times height divided by 2 because why half a rectangle which ones are base and height the numbers that are perpendicular to each other and remember so I, I gave you guys an example of base and heights earlier uh, so our base right here it's not 8 it's going to be 6 and we'll multiply it by what's perpendicular to the 6 is this 5 because we can draw a line that goes all the way up here okay and that's still 5 and that would be our height so 6 times 5 divided by 2 the reason why we didn't add these two 6 
plus 2 to make it 8. If we multiplied 8 times 5, it would give us the area of this entire triangle right here. But we only want this triangle right here. Okay, So we're using the 6 and the 5, and we cut it in half because it's half a rectangle. 6 times 5 is 30. Divided by 2 is 15 meters squared. Again, you could have just cut this in half. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 5 is again is 15 meters squared. So same answer. And the last example this time. Find the missing measurements. Round your answer to the nearest hundredth. So this time they gave us the area. Let's write that formula down just for good measure. Area equals base times height divided by 2. I'm going to ask you again. Why divide by 2? It's half of a rectangle. Now let's plug some numbers in. So our A, our area, they give it to us is 16.3 equals, what's our base? 6.5 times, what's perpendicular to our base? This question mark. So let's write question mark divided by 2. So let's do some math. Let's take our calculators. And let's cut 6.5 by 2. 6.5 divided by 2 is 3.25. So we have 3.25 times question mark. We have that 16.3. And the opposite of times ease or multiplication ease is division. So let's divide both sides by 3.25. So 16.3 divided by 3.25 is 5.015, 4 inches. Not squared because we're just trying to find the length of this right here. So just, oh, look, it says hundredth. Oh, I should have just written 5.0. Remember, this is the tenth place. This is the hundredth place. And we'll round this up to a 2 because that 5 right there. So 5.02 inches. So there you go. That's how you use the area of a triangle. This time they gave us the area. We just plugged everything in and did some algebra and found that this is 5.02 inches. All right, hope this helps. Hope this helps you get A's on everything in life.